The GOP presidential race continues to keep the country on its toes at stake. The votes from 12 states and a couple of candidates are pulling ahead and actually creating some distance tonight. The night team's Courtney Friedman has been at the Bear County Republican Party headquarters getting reaction about tonight's results. The room is full of Republicans, but they're also supporters for different presidential candidates. So lots of mixed emotions after tonight's results. But I will tell you, we did go to a Trump campaign watch party, and that group of people, very happy tonight. You go, Mr. Trump. Donald Trump is ahead. Trump supporters will sleep soundly tonight after the GOP presidential frontrunner swept the majority of the 12 states voting on Super Tuesday. Supporter Christina Crouch believes Trump will take it all the way. I like the way he tell he says as it is. He's for the American people. He's not an established part of the establishment. Trump's biggest contender of the night, Ted Cruz, was able to win his home state of Texas. Crouch was hoping Trump would be able to steal Texas from Cruz. Are you disappointed in that? No. No, there's plenty more states. That's not the, the end of it by any means. The win was a relief to Cruz supporters, though some weren't at all surprised. I always thought he was going to win. You know, I just... I'm just worried about after Super Tuesday, see what the results are and see where we go from there. As an evangelical Christian, Joel Diaz says he's always been a Cruz supporter and he's not giving up yet. I'm feeling confident. Supporters of the candidates who didn't come out on top tonight reminding everyone that the majority of the states have not voted yet, so they're not losing faith. From the GOP headquarters, Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.